Welcome my friends. I have an adorable Christmas home decor piece for you today. This easy Christmas DIY is fun to make and can be customized for any home. Let me show you how to make it. To get started on today's project, you're going to need a wood plaque. This one I picked up from Dollar Tree in their crafter square section. They have a couple different shapes to choose from. And you're also going to need a nice dark paint. This is Folk Art Multi-Surface. It's called Classic Green in Satin. You want to get one good coat of your dark green paint on your plaque. Depending on what paint you're using, it'll take one to two coats. You're also going to need a floral foam. I picked this up at Dollar Tree, 3.8 inches by 2.8 inches by 1.9. Now I'm going to want to cut this in half at an angle. You're also going to need one of these large ornaments. Now I did find this just recently at Dollar Tree. It is from Christmas House. They had a couple different ones to choose from, but I loved the red and white candy striped. So we have the shiny red and then almost like the frosty white. It has glitter on it. Absolutely love it. Now this is gonna be our main focal point and I wanna be able to attach it at a little bit of an angle. That's why I cut it. And then we're going to fill in here and at the top with some beautiful florals. I have this really pretty Christmas greenery that I picked up at Joann's or Michael's when it was after Christmas last year. And I'm going in and separating all the individual picks. It was all taped together at the bottom. I have a couple different greenery, berries, and pine cones. My plaque is nice and dry, it's time to start assembling. So we're going to use our floral foam to help support our ornament. So I want my ornament to sit on one side and I want this part to angle off. And then I'm going to take my floral foam and it's going to fit right underneath. Now I did cut a V in that to make it fit snugger against the ornament. Now that's about the angle that I want. Maybe bring that top up just a little bit more. And then you can see this is my base. We're going to fill in the greenery down here and put some up here. So this whole area will be filled in once we have our greenery. So that looks to be about right. Now I'm going to get this attached first. And I'm going to use my combination of Aliens Original Tacky Glue and Hot Glue. Now before I get this attached, I want to remove the top here. Now it does pop off. And once I know where the ornament sits on my foam, I can add some glue and get that attached. My ornament is secured to my base. I did go back in all the way around with hot glue and make sure that that was fully secured. Now here on the top, I have a small foam ball. I used half of this on another project. I have half left. I dug out a little bit of a hole that's going to cover this and we're going to place that right there. I'm going to attach this again with the Aliens Original Tacky Glue and Hot Glue. It's important that you allow your glues to fully set up before you move forward. My glues have set up. I'm ready to add my florals. These I all got off of that one stem. I have some here from Dollar Tree. Uh, this really pretty glitter berry, I got that from Walmart. Uh, the white eucalyptus I got from Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to start with my larger pieces. And 
I'm just going to start adding them in around the bottom here. Use whatever greenery, berries, and pine cones are available to you for this project. If you can't find what you need at Dollar Tree, you can always check Walmart, Hobby Lobby, or Michaels. Something a little different and unique to decorate your home for the holidays. Is this something that you would make for your home? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. So I'm slowly working my way around adding my greenery and pretty much what I'm doing on this side I'm trying to incorporate on the opposite. My goal right now is to hide that floral foam and I've done a pretty good job of it. This project is easily customizable to suit your home. Choose the ornament and Christmas greeneries that best suit your home. And I chose to go with this glitter berry instead of the flat berries because I thought it went better with the ornament. Enjoying the tutorial and would like to see more? Make sure to hit that subscribe button. When the notification bell pops up, if you hit that too, YouTube should let you know every time I upload new content. Okay, I like that for now. I'm going to move and work on the top here. For your convenience, in the description box below is a detailed list of all the tools and materials used in today's project. This list will not only tell you how much you're going to need, it will also let you know where I purchased the materials. So I have all of my florals in. I did decide to go ahead and add a couple of those pine cones. I needed something of size down there and I think they work great. I love the top but you can see I left a space to put my bow. But isn't that pretty? And it sits so nicely. Beautiful centerpiece or decor for your side table or mantel. Okay, let's make a pretty bow for this. I have my Deluxe Easy Bow Maker and I have this really pretty candy cane ribbon that I picked up from Costco. It's one and a half inches. Now I don't want very long tails, so I'm only going to measure my tails at four inches and then pinch and twist. So on my tail, the nice side of the ribbon should be facing up, but once I come through and I go to make my loops for my bow, the nice side of the ribbon should be facing down. And I don't want a real big bow, so I'm only going to measure my loops at three inches. And I'm going to do two on either side. Okay, so I have my two loops on either side. I'm going to add one more loop, and I'm going to make this one smaller. This is going to be my center loop. I have half a pipe cleaner. I'm just going to pinch my ribbon together and then lift it out. Grab my pipe cleaner, wrap it around the center, pull it to the back, and give a couple twists. You want to make sure you leave a little piece of that center loop on the correct side, otherwise your bow will fall apart. And then I like to hold it right in the center there. Pull my tails down and open up and spread out my loops. I 
don't think I'm gonna pull my tails both down. I think I'm gonna do one on either side and my loops in the middle. And then I am gonna dovetail my ends. Okay, so that's approximately what your bow should look like. I'll do my final adjusting once I get it on the project. So on my bow here, I cut the uh, pipe cleaners to just about half an inch. I twisted them together. And then here in the center, I poke a little hole. Add a little bit of hot glue and then feed my pipe cleaners into the hole there. Okay, and then once that uh, glue sets up, I'll go back and readjust my bow. I have my bow on and I think it looks absolutely adorable very very pretty now here on the back around the bottom I did go in and add just a few little pieces to cover up the wood piece but I love it I think it is so gorgeous and just screams Merry Christmas Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and show some love in the comments. If you're looking for more Christmas inspiration, you can click into my playlist right here. If you haven't subscribed yet, you should by clicking this icon down here. I have a lot of wonderful new crafts coming this holiday season. Have a great day, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next video.